Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FM8 tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at setting up FM8 as an insert effect and some of the options we have on offer once we set up as an insert effect to kind of shape another sound, be it like a synth sound or uh, a kind of audio sample drum sound or whatever. So I've got this, if I mute this FM8 effect, so I've got this massive preset here or patch, bass sound and we load up FM8 as an insert effect on here. And one of the first things you'll notice when you see it up or you'll place it as an insert effect is the sound disappears. And what you need to do to get the sound back, turn that in on, this in here, turn that on, control click it, turns it on, and then route this to the output. And now we're kind of rooting it through FM8 uh, it's a bit weird when you use it as an insert effect that that doesn't happen automatically because it just baffles people why you're not getting a sound. So once we set that up, we can have a look at this effects section. And so we can start all the effects that we use with FM8. It's really cool. We can start using these on other synth sounds or, or kind of audio sounds that we have, like an audio track or a MIDI track. So we can start using this overdrive. If you really like the sound of the FM8 overdrive and you want to start driving some other sounds using that tube amp. Cabinet, I don't really use this so much, but if you want that kind of distorted kind of bass guitar sound, uh, we've got an EQ, a shelving EQ, peak EQ. I mean, a bit less useful because the, the, the EQ that will come with Logic is, you know, there's, there's a lot more detailed, so. Uh, but the, the sound of the Shelvin EQ and the peak EQ is quite nice. Quite a nice top end to it, that Shelvin EQ. I've got this taut wire as well, so this is really cool. So if I hit that mod wheel as well, the taut wire, it's like this weird kind of bandpass filter, but if I hit this mod wheel, I've now... Assign the mouth to the mod wheel. So we get those sweeping kind of vowel effects. Phaser, flanger, tremolo. Reverb. This is really cool, the sight delay. Uh, and what's great about this is the fact that you can detune or pitch your delays. So if I hit this to sync now, I'm gonna take the time down a bit. The feedback, we've got stereo. Pitch, push that up 12 semitones, so. Get this crazy sort of delay, I could pitch it down as well. So, I mean, it's quite a nice delay, but it's also, you could get some quite experimental delay sounds using that. You can also detune the delay with sight delay, which I think is really useful because it means then your delay, if you've got a busy riff like this, some of those delays might start phasing with the actual original sound. If you detune them, kind of less chance of that sort of delay phasing with the kind of source signal and this chorus delay as well so with a short time on the chorus delay we've got more of a chorus and then increase the time and we start to get a bit of a delay as well something else i noticed using fm8 as an insert effect is if we go back to this fm matrix we can actually start doing some fm synthesis on sounds using it as an insert effect. So I've rooted it to the output here, this massive sound with the uh, FM8 effects. I can actually root this in, in here, I can root this into itself. Okay, so I can kind of affect the sound that way. I'm sort of, I'm rooting this in back into itself. Like we do with the operators with FM8 and we're starting to kind of just 
you know, apply some FM synthesis to some some other sounds uh, and kind of just sort of distorting them really. And another thing I noticed was you can actually start affecting the sound using the other operators. So I've got this operator F here. And you can hear I'm actually applying a sine wave to that bass sound now. Or a formant, temp formant. Key sync it. I'll affect the ratio here. So just some scope for some really kind of out there sound design stuff. Remember this is the sound coming from Massive and then we're using this kind of waveforms and the ratio and this FM matrix to just kind of drive that sound. And yeah, it doesn't sound, I mean, you start driving these too much and it's just destroys the sound. But I just I discovered that you could do that just when I was setting it up as an insert effect and thought that I didn't realize that you could use this FM matrix and use the offer operators to affect this input. So a sound from another source using FM8 as an insert effect. So another thing we didn't actually look at very quickly, just reset this here. This FX here, I didn't look at this template here, this drop down menu. So if I hit this template here and we get these kind of uh, like presets really, effects presets. So we can actually start just getting into some kind of stats effects sequences here very quickly. So load up some of these, inverse flanger. And some of them will just be one effect, or some of them will be a sequence of effects, so mod wheel, taut wah, low cut, you know, just some basic EQ stuff. So they're really cool, but another thing you could do is say, set up our own kind of effects chain and go, right, we've got this, this shelving EQ in here, a peak EQ, and an overdrive. Some chorus. I think we quite like that effects chain that we set up there. We can save this, put it in one of the user slots, give it a name. And we've saved it in there. We've saved it. I didn't think I think I renamed it properly. So if I rename it here, FMA FX. Save that. So you have to name it and then save it. So save it in that user slot. So now if I was to load up a new sound. I can go ahead and call up that effects chain that I set up there. So it's really useful. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of sort of tips there for using FM8 as an insert effect. I think we might get stuck into this a bit more in some of the future tutorials because I think it could go quite deep using this FM matrix to affect the sound from another source signal. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch and also get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there featuring FM8. And yeah, thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.